if you were spiritually growing, you would think what you're going to do is, uh, it's sort of like building a house. And you're going to add this and add this and add that and add, and, and you keep building it up. That's not how it works at all. I spend years trying to add things to my building. Do you know what I mean? Spiritual growth is subtraction, not addition. Spiritual growth, real spiritual growth, means I'm letting go of stuff. And what happens is if I can let go of what I'm clinging to, if I can let go of what I'm attached to, if I can do that, if I can let go of what I'm reaching for, and if I can let go of what I'm trying to push away, then I all of a sudden fall into the river of spirit. And I'm in the flow. And that's when growth really takes place. So that's funny. Because it's letting go that really brings about growth. Nancy Lee, isn't that right? Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, that's how it goes. And I'll tell you one way you can do it. See, you, you've got to place yourself in the position. You've got to be in the river of spirit. You've got to be in the right place at the right time. And the only thing I know that can help you do that, the only thing I know that can help people, and again, Jesus talked about this as one of the most important things he could say, and to me, because I'm talking to you as if I'm going to transition a couple of hours from now, so what am I going to say? And I'm going to say this, I don't know anything that can help you grow more than spiritual practice. And most of us do not really have a spiritual practice. Spiritual practice. When, when Buddha said, be a light unto yourself. See, that's really important. I mean, that's vital. And, and the, thing, the other thing he said was, he said, you've got to work at this. Rumi, that I read this week, and I really kind of meditated on it, he said, he used the word work. And then he said, dig the well. There's water down there. But you've got to keep digging. You've got to keep digging. It reminded me of the old song that my um, um, musical friend, Little Richard, used to say. Now, some other people did the song. Uh, Everly Brothers did the song. Somebody else did the song. But Little Richard was the best on this song. And he said, keep a knocking. But you can't come in. Keep a knocking. But you can't come in. And that's what spiritual practice is. Spiritual practice, it says you keep knocking. That's exactly what Rumi said. You keep knocking. Because he said love is in here. And eventually the window is going to open and love is going to come to you. But you've got to keep knocking. You can't just knock on Sunday. Amen? Amen? Amen. You can't just knock on Monday. You can't just knock on Tuesday. It has to be consistent. I'm going to call it drivers. You need drivers in your life. Oh, and I'm going to put a word in front of drivers. The word is automatic. All of us need automatic drivers to keep our spiritual practice going. What is that? It means for me on Sunday morning, 5.30, the clock wakes me up. Some of you wouldn't use a clock, but I happen to use a clock right now. So at 5.30, it wakes me up. Now, when that goes off, I do not say, huh, I wonder if I should get up. Or how do I feel? Do I feel like getting up? I don't ask any questions. I get up. It's an automatic driver. I can use time that way. At 9 o'clock, I could say, I'm going to pray every day at 9 o'clock. And when 9 o'clock comes, I don't say, well, do y'all really want to do that? You don't ask any questions, you do it. Some people who exercise or lift weights, you get up, you put your running shoes on. And when you put the running shoes on, you're not asking, should I do it? Should I not? Should I do it? Should I not? Because you've already made the decision. The decision is when those shoes go on, I'm walking. It happens. And so time, you're using time to help you do that. That's how spiritual practice is. You're not going to debate it. If every Sunday morning you wake up and you say, well, should I go to Journeys or not? I don't know. 
I think there's something else. There's some good cartoons coming out there. Okay? Uh, should I do that? Shouldn't I do that? See, if you really are going to be committed, you don't ask that question because it's an automatic driver. It drives you automatically.